Hello, my name is Axel. My name is Dino. What do you play? Guitar. I play drums and I sing. So, uh, let's talk about the, the tour. Uh, how's the tour going so far? I think the tour is going good, considering that we've never ever played in Europe before. I didn't even think about that you were in Vienna. Oh. Good, yeah. I didn't, in, I didn't book this necessarily because I knew you were here, but I remembered later that. I knew you were in Austria, but I realized it's in Vienna you are. And I was trying to get a, a grass show, right? Couldn't manage to get it. So it's only one Vienna show, uh, Austria show, but it's, it's, it's going good. Germany was so good, like really, really good. Uh, Germany, you mean it was how many days uh, ago? Five. Five days. Same. You're right now at... Uh, uh, Bonn, Kassel, uh, Hanover, Hamburg and Berlin. Yeah, I think Berlin was added. Uh, we found out the same night before, like that we were going to play the day after. Oh, you didn't know? Yeah, that's why had, it was, we, was That's yeah. why I'm surprised, because it was not in it's the not tour the, list. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you knew we played Berlin. It, it, yeah, because yes. we didn't yeah. announce We announced it the same afternoon. So. All right, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So it was one of the greatest shows ever. I think Berlin was cool, but the best one, in my opinion, was Hamburg. I just felt, felt great. How great many people? Uh, I think there was like maybe 30, 40. No, there was probably like around 40 while we were playing. For the first time, it's good. Yes, to me, that's crazy, because in London, there's maybe less than half than that that show up, you know? And that's where we're from. That's because no one gives a shit about bands there. Okay, if you compare uh, London to Hamburg, or so far you're experiencing, uh, in, um, what's the difference? People are just more excited, I think. In uh, Europe? Yeah, in general in Europe. I'm sick of the UK. And I, you know, it sounds funny because I've only done one real long tour with this band in the UK, but it's just a different vibe. Maybe it's because I'm not British, I don't know. I don't think it has anything to do with uh, uh, being British or not. It's just, uh, there's a lot of people. Mm. A lot of people, a lot of competition. A lot of, um, I don't know, there's, there's always this thing with bands, the more... Yeah, but what would you say, like for example, for uh, Austrian people to understand, what do you mean when you say competition? So, my eyes, I think there's a lot of band from, let's say, the UK that are trying to do the same thing and they are always, I'm going to be straightforward, they're just kind of kissing each other's ass and uh, it's like a bunch of bands that are, how would I put it, they are doing, they're doing something that's been done before and they kind of, they kind of put all these things together where it's like, we are going to do this, uh, you know, you got to help me out here. That's how, how I don't word this the wrong way. The British bands, how they do it, it's like a click almost. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of bands, lots of music, not that many cool venues. So it's a bit of a fight to get like weekend spots at good venues, I guess. And how, uh, how do you get uh, good spots? You need to say, you just, lick, some, just, lick yeah, somebody you gotta be else. a cool band. You got to be cool. You got to be in the click. We're not in the click. That's why we are. Is it, is it a London uh, slang, uh, the click? Do you know? Mm -hmm. you a, a click, click is like, click, click is like when you're cool enough to be accepted by the. We are a two person click. Yeah. All right. There's no click here. That's why I like it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's chill. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm making sense at all now, but um, yeah, you do. it sounds like awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just think there's a certain type of you need a fake it to make it a lot in the UK. Same as anywhere, but there's very much like that in the UK. Do you think there's a lot of this uh, entrepreneurship spirit kind of or bullshit show business kind of like let's yeah. let's just like uh, burn the whole place down and show them. Yeah, our I, balls I and so. shit. I think yeah. so. I didn't necessarily move there because that's what I wanted. To, I, I, I had no idea that it would be this much of that stuff. I just knew that London is probably the biggest or best city in Europe for music. Yeah, that's why I moved there. Yeah, which is um, true. Yeah, I think so. A lot of yeah, great you studios. Have, uh, lots of possibilities. I mean, on, on the surface, at least. Yeah. Venues. But nobody tells you that it's really hard to get. Yeah, those. yeah, yeah. Does. Um, we have some great contacts that have been able to get us some great shows. You know, but UK is. It's, uh, I don't know, it's like, a, it's like, it reminds me of the States, but it doesn't have the, it doesn't have that local scene support. Where it's like a lot of bands come from UK or they come from the States. You won't see a band from like here in this, on the same, on the same thing. Like I could, I could name a handful of bands that are from the UK and I can name maybe like one or two European bands that are involved in the same scene as they are. I don't even know what scene we're in, but people put us in the same box with a lot of other bands that we don't want to be put in. And those are usually British bands sounding usually the same there's a i don't even know what you would call our music but uh it's uh, it's um uh i musicians don't like genres we only you 
you use on the channel so that you can uh, tell it to the market people or whatever so how to promote it or how to promote to regular people but in your sense a little bit of melancholy yeah i would much rather be called that than anything else in any term of music doesn't mean it's sad yeah. but it's just uh yeah. the way how you express your emotions i wish is, there was a genre called that uh black and white melancholic uh uh, uh post rock something like that oh, yeah cool. yeah okay I'll take it, you know. Yeah, better than 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 the term, the pop rock or post pop rock or something. <laughs> yes, genres are overrated anyway. I mean, we only need genres so that we can explain it to the magazines so or identify every band to put you in a box. That's it. But as for UK, I like it. But the, the more north you go, the nicer the people are. Serious? Scotland? Absolutely, one hundred percent. Scotland is great. They're genuine people. Really? Yeah. From personal experience. Leave me forever. Yeah. You know, you know, leave me, right? You know, leave me? No. Julian, you know, leave me? No. no. But I'll take this over UK any day. I'm sure Dino would too. I've only played like one show in the UK. Two. Two. Europe. Europe is really nice. Germans are really nice. Very welcoming. I feel like London, um, it's a cool place. Like, cool people come to the gigs, but it's hard to like differentiate yourself from other people, I guess, or other bands. And um, there is a lot of like, what well, you mentioned, like the business side of things, like entrepreneurial things where um, people rely on social media a lot and they they build up, up like a whole aesthetic and like a personal brand before they even have people at their shows. And we've done shows with, or Katyn and Axel have done shows with bands where they've got loads of followers on like TikTok or whatever, loads of plays on Spotify, but like five people come to the gig and then they're playing like big festivals in the UK, like one year after that. So it's doing the magic somehow. Someone knows someone or... Yeah, exactly. I was about to say it. Like, I probably just know somebody and that's it. Doesn't matter how good you are. Actually, it's true. It's, it doesn't matter how good it's yeah. the right people you know. Unfortunately, it is like that in every industry. It doesn't matter if it's music or not. Yeah, I, I think that's 100% true. I'm just trying to take a step away from that and just enjoy coming to new places and seeing... All right. What do you like about European touring so far? It's been a fifth day. Uh, What's refreshing for you after this entrepreneurial bullshit yeah enough with the bullshit i think that uh not only the accommodations but like i think the warm welcome you're getting i think 99 percent of the places in europe it's always like a nice warm welcome and it's very very accommodating you can actually afford to like do this and not like eat rice and nothing you know what i mean it's like you can afford to get to the next show in UK, you, you're you're actually talking like, like uh, an American band. Uh, you, people from the United States say something like that. Yeah, people say we sound like an American band too, but... No, no, I won't say that you sound like an American band. You, you, you slowly... Uh, I mean, if they were listening to your previous stuff, maybe, right? But you're slowly getting into your own shit. Oh, absolutely. It's slowly, slowly, slowly. It's definitely... You released taking, one album, right? So yeah, one album. Uh, two singles. Yeah, two singles, singles yeah. yeah. Whereas, the last one, which one? Was yeah, the last it? single we released is not something we really play live. We've done it, but I, I didn't play drums and sang that. I played guitar and uh, play guitar and sang. And it's more, it still has elements of the old album on that song, and we just decided not to play it because it's, it's different. Um, we like the other single more we released first, and we keep playing that every night, which has a lot more of her influences on it, like, melodies and she the lyrics about, about the yeah. pain <laughs> i wish he was here to tell you about no, it no, no, no it's even better yeah they keep it mysterious yeah, yeah, yeah. but um yeah even even more so the new stuff we've got coming is definitely yes uh uh you just were uh recording new music in august we're recording in august 20th that's what i remember and like that yeah 20th of august was the last social media post regarding the new music so, yeah so what's the plan now? What do you want to We have, we don't really have a plan. And this Spotify playlist bullshit that every band is trying to do is kind of getting a bit uninteresting to me. So I'm just thinking about just releasing uh, an EP. I think we should release an EP, four songs, because there's four songs recorded, right? Instead of throwing out a single here and there, maybe we'll do one single and then just release one four single songs. and three. That'll and be cool. A full AP, but we yes. don't have like a rule. We don't have like a oh we need to do it this way, we need to do it that way. I don't give a shit because we just want to put it out and play those songs live as soon as possible. We actually even playing them already tonight, you know. So it just makes it more interesting to not follow like those or you know because we we've been playing unreleased music a long time, even though we have a whole 13 track debut record. 
because most of those songs aren't really representing what we are now. When you met, when you fall, first found our band, we we didn't have we didn't have a, we haven't didn't establish the sound yet. We were still like you know doing. She wasn't as involved in the first record, and you can probably tell that by the song. Gray is a lot more inspired by you know her melodies and stuff, whereas the first record kind of just blends into a big chunk of power chords and riffs. You know. That's why we only play like a handful of songs from that one. But I'm much, I'm much happier with the direction it's going now. Where are you mentally when you compose the music? It can be many places, I know, but yeah. uh, do you have an example when, like, for example, the latest single, well, maybe not the latest single, but something? That's a good question. You know, because yeah. I remember when I interviewed uh, one of the bands, like Broom, right? They play really melancholic music, right? Now, I didn't know anything how they sound, how they behave in real life, and I was expecting some really goth people, you know? In reality, they're freaking like funny, nice people, you know? Of course nice, but like really funny, you know? Completely opposite to the music they play, you know? So for me now, I'm always prepared to hear that like pop stars are the most depressed people and, 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 uh, yeah. and uh, people who are playing like melancholic music are happiest. How, how, what about you? you know, how, how do you feel? Is it just music that you play? Is uh, something that you get your emotions out? Yeah, I think I am very much... I'm not, in, I'm not involved in lyrics and stuff like that. I don't... I get a block. I can't really write lyrics and put it down on paper. The same way she can, she just throws out. She, she's great at that stuff. And I'm just more focusing on the instrumentals, like the riffs and stuff, because I find it the easiest to sit down and just try things out. For example, if I pick an, an acoustic guitar up and I, I think about if this would sound good on this thing, I would probably sound good on an electric guitar, you know? I don't know. Uh, what inspires that idea, I don't know where it comes from. I feel like I'm just too all over the place to... I, I, always, I always have ideas. They just come from, from not doing it enough, I think. I think I take breaks from playing and recording and then it just comes into a big long month of just writing stuff. Like now I'm in a month that I'm not doing anything musically. I feel like it's... It's like an almost like a release, wanting to do a lot of things, but I've just been preoccupied doing other stuff. Well, you need to sometimes yeah. to uh, breathe in before you breathe out. Yeah. So creativity is the same thing. You know, just to have a break before you can create something. Yeah. That's it. I need, I need something with melodies to make a song, and usually that's just gonna naturally end up being a guitar. You know, even though I'm a drummer originally, like that's what I've been doing. I still prefer writing on guitars. Yeah, I think a lot of things, a lot of things inspire me, but really hard to pinpoint exactly one thing. It's obviously music, a lot of, a lot of other artists. And... Is, it, is it a combination of, of, of case music, uh, ly lyrics and music, or how, is, how does it work? It goes together, or something goes first and something goes Oh, out? in order, the way we write it? I mean, it, it'll rarely be a case of her having lyrics pre-written, you know? It's almost always the case where I give her, almost sometimes I give her like a finished chorus or a song like put together and she'll just write onto that if she if she's if she excites her you know if she, if she doesn't if she likes that thing she's gonna write something over to you know okay uh, so she she's uh, reacting to your music kind of all right yeah and you react from your lyrics absolutely right? uh-huh yeah okay. absolutely okay her melodies also like it can her, yeah me bringing her some music that'll make her feel oh we could have done this different like try this and then she opens up a whole different world but i'm like oh i should have just you know so some other list she'll, she'll put in songs will make me more inspired rather than me just using my go-to oh like riffs that i put together it's it's a lot of different things i think really hard to pinpoint no you shoot them in pinpoint it's just uh, sometimes you know like there are situations that uh, trigger to uh, music yeah. or something like this but sometimes it's just it's not i mean most of the time it's not it's also, just the way it's a process not, not listening to music that is similar to what we play inspires me personally like, like what oh anything what, what do you listen to funk i listen to i listen to a lot of extreme extreme music really and I, yeah and i listen to also a lot of softer stuff that's not necessarily like dark smooth operator that's my favorite song but you know what i'm talking about no you have to explain <laughs> yeah smooth operator you know i don't think you listen to no. that i wouldn't know no. i wouldn't know you don't know no I should probably listen to it, but yeah, um, I think listening to different styles of music over and over, not just listening to one style. It's yeah, of course, of course. Well, you should completely like listen to freaking. I uh, recommend to listen to the 
uh, uh, traditional uh, uh, songs of pygmies in, I think pygmies are in Africa or the islands, somewhere in I'm islands. Yeah, yeah. Pygmy, pygmy, pygmy. Okay. Best, best. It's like opens your mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, in some movie. I forgot which movie. Only I have no idea. You, you managed yourself into this. <laughs> There's a movie called Outroad States, the main guy in that movie, and th that guy is in another movie. <laughs> Just Google it, all right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, Pygmy, pig pig you can find it on YouTube because I found it. The Pygmy, a traditional singing and children singing on YouTube. This is legitimately, I'm, I'm recommending, this is the most important thing in your life. Tonight, you need to listen. Julian, you need to listen. Yeah. Yeah, but something like that, you know, you should uh, open your mind to everything. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I, ex I explore a lot of new stuff, just like every... So for the, for the new EP, was there uh, something specific that... Uh, or it's just like a I think it's, natural continuation? Honestly, I think it's hearing that our band is changing the sound a little bit and listening back to it, that's inspiring me more to explore more of that. I don't even know necessarily where that comes from. You just want, to, you don't want to uh, to sound yeah. like the, like yeah. old you, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think if there is one thing, I think it's uh, maybe a little bit of, uh, I don't know if that's the right word, but I guess you could say like post-punk with 80s influence has had a, some, planted planted some seed in my riff the way I write riffs, maybe. I don't know, maybe. Um, but also other stuff too. She, Karen has a lot of other artists she's into. We have very different backgrounds in music, you know, like what stuff we listen to and this blends into one thing, I think. All right, so what's the plan now? You, you're going to be touring because this episode will come out within this week. So most oh, it's of the that people- fast? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Nice. If I want to, I can do it tomorrow if I want to. Yes. We'll see how it goes. But Friday, uh, Saturday, realistically, yes. So, what's the plan? You're going to be touring uh, in Europe, right? Everybody should check out you on uh, social media at, at Stay In Nothing, right? Stay In Nothing, all one word. I don't know how many times I've said that to people in venues. Yeah, tell them what I do. <laughs> the, the trick, how I got this tour, how I harass people. Uh, after every, me and Axel go to like gigs sometimes, and then after every gig, he'll, he'll walk around and he'll see someone, and he'll lock on the target and he'll go, Hey man, nice shirt. And then he starts talking to them. And he's like, oh, I'm in the band too. And then he plugs the band. And he does that to like 20 people at every show. This is this is a, this is a classical London, uh, I guess. England. Uh, because people right here would say it is rude. It's rude, yeah? Compliment somebody's shirt. Huh? To compliment a shirt? Like promoting your band based on like seeing you're interested in someone else's shirt they're wearing like oh nice shirt and then slowly leading the conversation into <laughs> no it's fine the, do you know this band that uh for 10 years is running around in parking spots handing out their their flyers and cds and they have people all over europe like it's some estonian rock band really shitty hi guys <laughs> yeah and they they're offensive man they're yeah, yeah, yeah. they're I'm really not aggressive but i should yeah i mean Sometimes I have no limit. I can speak to a lot of people and when I like really go up to a lot of people. That's because I know the only way for me to get someone to check this out. Is yeah, this is, this is a classic London uh, like, 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 uh, guess, competition. Yeah. This is where you grow. Like, no, you're, ready, say, you're ready to, to do the thing, even, the hard work. I wouldn't say it's even in like a um, super promotional way. Like Axel just really likes talking to people and he loves music. And when, when you see someone that shares the same passion as him towards like a certain band, like it's easy for him to talk. And it's not even about getting numbers up. You just, he yeah, but you're, about music. Like some, some musicians are shy and, um, yeah. are, and say it like, okay, people will discover my music by um, yeah. natural, organically. Yeah. Of course, but I'd still rather have that than like TikTok. It also, I think, I think it leaves a personal like impression when they meet. Well, well of course, if, from, if, uh, if somebody comes to me and says, check out my yeah. band, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be interested if someone sends you a DM like, hey, check this mm. out. You know? We met people and he went to shows with those people that he met and. Like you end up forming relationships with people that end up liking your music. It's... That's really important. Like yeah. like this personal connection, like how you do it online. Like we did it online, right? Like we get to know that, but finally we like sure, yeah. see each other. But in reality, in person is the best yeah. thing. Yeah. I think you're so really fine. don't worry about it. Like it's really a really nice way to do I it. Haven't, I haven't had a chance to try it in like not so much in Europe. I've tried it maybe in maybe I was in Munich one time had a show. It didn't really. I don't think the vibe was there. People didn't really seem to 
don't think they were offended or annoyed or thought I was rude. I just think they didn't really expect to have a stranger talking to them at a show. Whereas in London, you can go up to someone, they're actually pretty open to, you know, engage a conversation with me. Depends, yeah. But I, I'm not a people person, really. I sometimes do it. It works for me. It got to work for everybody then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And it worked in Vienna, mind you. <laughs> it might work here. Yeah. I might go after the show and like, hey, you know. Oh, yeah. definitely it will work. It will work. Uh, I, I guess it, on your crowd, it might be fine. But Viennese people are like, eh, known as grumpy. Um, so uh, let's bring us to the end. Uh, so the fans, uh, the uh, the yeah. tour is going in. We are going to go one more show in Eastern Europe tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, and after that. Slovakia. Yeah. Uh, after that, we go Munich, and then we go to first it Italy show Sunday, the eighth in Verona. Italy, and after that, to so which country? Uh, is after approximate? that, we have a day to chill out, not do no, anything. No, but just in general, in the, in the oh, like we're, we're just doing like just countries Spain. without uh, any specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna read the whole tour poster for you. No, no, the, no. We have Spain, we have France, Belgium, Holland, or Netherlands, as people say. I don't know which one I should stick to. I just wanted to for, to, to show people that you are like serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're pretty serious. We yeah. take music seriously. I take this seriously. We, we don't take ourselves very seriously. All right. And uh, do we know when the new music is coming out? We don't. But we know it's coming this year. Absolutely. Really? Oh, absolutely. It's just four songs. We're going to play them tonight. Perfect. 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 Okay, uh, which song should I put in the end of the interview? A good introduction to your band. Grey. 